What if your body reveals dementia before your brain does? Before memory fades or confusion takes hold, something strange begins to happen. Not in your speech, not in your thoughts, but in the way you move. Subtle, eerie shifts in posture, expression, and physical behavior that most people never question until it's too late. That's because long before dementia becomes noticeable, it quietly disrupts the parts of the brain that control your body's nonverbal communication. And if you know what to look for, the warning signs are right there in plain sight. In this video, you'll discover nine creepy body language signs that could be the brain's first cry for help long before memory loss begins. Let's begin. Number one, long, unblinking stares at nothing. Gloria, 74, would often sit silently at the kitchen table, staring at the same corner of the room without blinking. Sometimes it lasted for minutes. Her husband waved a hand in front of her face once, and she barely reacted. At first they laughed it off, but eventually, Gloria began missing appointments and losing track of conversations. Two years later, she was diagnosed with Lewy body dementia. This eerie, frozen stare is a known early feature of visuospatial disconnection. It's not just daydreaming. It reflects disrupted attention and processing in the occipital and parietal lobes, the areas responsible for visual awareness and orientation. A clinical study linked prolonged gaze fixation in older adults with early signs of Lewy body and Parkinson's-related dementias often appearing well before cognitive decline is obvious. Number two, delayed facial reactions. Martin, 76, was watching a funny movie with his granddaughter. The entire room burst out laughing, but Martin just stared blankly, then smiled five seconds later. This delay became more common. Smiles, frowns, surprise, all came late, or not at all. He was diagnosed with early Alzheimer's disease in three years. This kind of delayed or absent facial response is tied to early frontal lobe decline, where emotional recognition and expression are processed. The person still feels emotions, but the brain struggles to send the signal to their face, creating an eerie mismatch between the moment and their reaction. A study revealed that early-stage Alzheimer's patients often show impaired facial expressiveness during social interaction, even before memory loss is detected. Number three, strange, repetitive hand movements. Diana, 71, had always been calm and collected, but she started constantly rubbing her fingers together, even during conversations. Later, she began wringing her hands and tapping her leg in quiet settings. When asked about it, she said she hadn't even noticed. As her behaviors grew more rigid, her doctor confirmed a diagnosis of frontotemporal dementia. These repetitive gestures aren't just fidgeting, they reflect motor disinhibition, a breakdown in the brain's ability to suppress unnecessary movements, often triggered by frontal lobe and basal ganglia degeneration. Research confirms that repetitive motor behaviors especially in the hands, are a hallmark early feature of frontotemporal dementia and Parkinsonian syndromes. Number four, constant shoulder shrugging or neck twitching. Leon 70 began developing a subtle tick, a shoulder shrug or neck twitch that appeared randomly during the day. It wasn't painful and didn't seem to bother him, but it became more noticeable in social situations. His family assumed it was just a nervous habit, but over time, Leon also began forgetting faces and struggling with simple tasks. He was eventually diagnosed with Parkinson's-related dementia. These small, involuntary movements are signs of early motor system disruption, often involving the subcortical structures that regulate posture and coordination. The brain begins to send incomplete or misfired signals to the muscles, leading to repetitive, purposeless twitches. A new analysis found that subtle motor tics, especially when they appear later in life, may signal early neurodegenerative changes, 
even in the absence of tremors or rigidity. Number five, stiff robotic posture. Helen, 78, had always moved with ease, but her daughter noticed she'd started walking strangely, upright and stiff with little arm movement. She sat in chairs without adjusting or shifting, almost like a mannequin. At first, they blamed arthritis, but when Helen also began showing signs of confusion and slowed thinking, further testing revealed early Lewy body dementia. This kind of rigid posture and lack of fluidity is a result of impaired motor control from early damage to the basal ganglia and brainstem circuits, areas that help regulate automatic movements and balance. A large-scale study showed that reduced arm swing, stiffness, and robotic posture can appear years before formal cognitive symptoms, especially in Parkinsonian and Lewy body dementia types. Number six, avoiding eye contact. Terry, 73, stopped looking people in the eyes. During conversations, he'd glance to the side, to the side, stare past people, or look down. His wife thought it was shyness or fatigue until he stopped recognizing familiar faces and became more withdrawn. Three years later, doctors diagnosed him with Alzheimer's disease. Loss of eye contact is more than a social shift. It often reflects early dysfunction in the temporal parietal junction, which plays a key role in social attention, empathy, and face processing. The brain begins to lose its automatic drive to engage. Studies indicate that early-stage dementia patients frequently show reduced gaze engagement, especially during emotionally meaningful interactions even before memory loss is noticed. Number seven, excessive blinking or eye twitching. Marsha, 75, developed a habit of blinking rapidly in social situations, sometimes blinking 20 times in a row when under mild stress. Her doctor ruled out dry eyes or medication side effects. Over time, Marsha's blinking increased and she started struggling with focus and attention. Five long years passed before doctors gave it a name, early frontotemporal dementia. Excessive blinking is often tied to neurological overstimulation, especially in frontal lobe deterioration, where the brain struggles to regulate emotional responses and motor impulses. These tiny movements become exaggerated when control systems fail. A new report shows that abnormal blink rates and facial tics can appear in the early phases of cognitive disorders, particularly in subtypes that affect motor and emotional regulation. Number eight, mouth movements without speaking. Alvin, 79, began moving his mouth, opening and closing, puckering or chewing when he wasn't eating or talking. His daughter noticed it happening during quiet moments, like reading or watching TV. When asked, Alvin didn't realize he was doing it. Just a year later, his behavior had become far more unpredictable, and doctors confirmed early Alzheimer's disease with motor symptoms. These unconscious mouth movements are linked to automatic motor loops, which occur when the brainstem and subcortical motor circuits begin misfiring. These loops often go unnoticed by the person, but reflect early cognitive disorganization. Findings suggest that oral automatisms, repetitive, purposeless mouth movements, are a subtle but important early marker of neurodegeneration. Number nine, smiling or laughing at the wrong time. Wanda, 72, began reacting to emotional situations in unsettling ways. During a friend's funeral, she giggled. When told serious news, she smiled inappropriately. Her family was embarrassed and confused, but Wanda wasn't trying to be rude. Two years later, she was diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia. This disturbing behavior is called emotional disinhibition, when the brain loses its filter between emotion and expression. It's caused by damage to the orbitofrontal cortex, which normally suppresses socially inappropriate reactions. A medical study suggests that 
Inappropriate laughter, grinning, or smiling is a strong behavioral marker for frontotemporal dementia and can precede memory symptoms by several years. These body language changes might seem minor, but they're not. They're physical proof that the brain is starting to lose control even before memory loss begins. The earlier these signs are recognized, the more time there is to act, to seek help, investigate deeper, and potentially slow what's happening beneath the surface. And there you have it. What are your thoughts? Next, dive into this video for more essential tips to transform your health and help you thrive. You're going to love it. Thanks for watching Healthy End, and we'll see you there.